Hi guys, welcome back. What we're going to do today, we're going to look at the different build services available, or what I'm going to use anyway. There's a few different types. I'm going to start off with blue tape and then look at the glass and things like that. So the first thing I bought when I bought this printer was blue builder's tape. Now, I haven't used this for maybe, this cyst, I haven't used this for about a year. I've moved over to glass, but if I do get stuck on a print, never yet, but if I did, I'd go back to this just to get me away uh, whether I'm printing something which needs a bit more stick, maybe ABS or something. I don't really print on ABS, but if I did, I've always got that option. How you do that is just lay it across the bed, on the, on, the, uh, on the bed itself, and then you just print on it. Take it off when you finish. You, it's sacrificial, you're going to lose going to lose it when you take it up but it's there for when you, when you use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some on some uh, some glass and then we we'll print on that so I don't put it onto the work surface. So I, I've got four different plates. I've got glass, I've got a uh, stainless steel sheet, I've got three sheets of glass actually and some of this. So I'll do that. So there's that and then there's glass. Now uh, you can buy glass or you can use a mirror, you can get it from being Q, Ikea, whatever you're going to do. I decided to buy some. Uh, and that's the place where I bought it from, if anybody's interested. Four 3D printers. It wasn't any more expensive. I can't remember how much it paid, but it wasn't that expensive. And uh, it's supposed to do the job. It's quite thick. All the edges were sort of chamfered and, and etched. Looks like it's been etched. So it's decent stuff. Now this has got glue glue stick on so this is going to be one of the surfaces I'm going to print from which is a glue stick and that's the glue stick I use. Cheap as you can. Five of these for a pound. That's all I use. And the, that surface is applied. Wash it, clean it with alcohol, dry it and then just apply it across on different, uh, different angles. So go across this way and then that way and that's fine. So that's your glass and I'm going to put some blue tape on one piece of glass which I've got down there and then we're going to try a print on this surface which I've just picked up the last couple of days this is like a build tack surface like a copy of a build tack uh, and it's got stainless on the back we can see that and all the fingerprints and uh, There's a bit of writing down there, I can't really see it for the light, but it says that's a uh, dot bit, so this is by dot bit. So it's got some nice etchings on there. I'm going to try and print on, on this surface, straight onto the stainless, it's not stainless, sorry, spring steel. And then I'm going to print on this build tack surface, and hopefully it should pop off. Uh, so we're going to try that. So what I'll do is, there's going to be a bit of time lapse in this video, uh, quite a few cut scenes where I'm going to jump to the next one. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, pop over to Cura. Going to have a quick look at some settings before we move over to the printer uh, and print these things out. So there they are there. That's what we're going to print out. It's only eight layers. Up to two millimeter. Yeah. Okay. So settings. I'm gonna flash over this quick. I've got the layer height set to 0.1. Initial layer. The first layer is gonna be 0.2. It's a little bit. Uh, so I get a bit more of a squash. I don't know whether I need that. Wall thickness doesn't really matter. Top layers doesn't matter. Infill doesn't matter. My Bed temperature is going to be 205. Build plate temperature is about 50. I've knocked my flow rate down to 95%. Uh, that's just for all my prints. So normally it was 100, but I've knocked that down. Traction distance 2 millimeters. Traction speed 5. Pin speed for this is going to be 35, but I'll probably knock that down a little bit more. But I'll just see how it goes. And then the initial layer speed is going to be 20 millimeters a second. Using Corman, don't really need that to be honest. I could use iron. And uh, that's it really, use a skirt. 
That's it. It's going to take nine minutes. And it's going to use uh, half a, just over half a meter. Yeah. So that's it, really. There's no more sense. PLS. I'm just going to pop over to the printer now and get this thing printed out. Okay, so we're going to start the first print. We're going to print on glass. We're going to use uh, builder's tape. So it's going to be the first one. And then we're going to do uh, what we're going to do next glue stick. So we'll try the builder's tape, then glue stick. We're going to use different colours. So for this one, it's going to be black. Uh, and we'll just use uh, PLA black. We'll keep all the same settings. I might have to tweak some of the settings for the temperatures, but we're at. I think the temperature for this print is going to be about 110 I think on the, on the uh, hot end and we leave the bed as it is. So we go get this running straight away, initiate from CD, from SD card and we're going to print the first one. Just wait for this to warm up. It's actually, I'm going to go back up to I'm just going to tune it to 60 on the beds, saves it, uh, we'll go 55, just saves me waiting for it to drop the temperature back down, that's all. So we are 205 on the hot end and uh, 55. What it's going to do now is, I'm just going to get that snuzzle off there, it's going to do an auto bed level because this glass is slightly different thickness to the other glass. There's a BL touch. Hopefully it all goes well. I haven't printed on this stuff for a long time. And to be honest I forgot to uh, I forgot to uh, see whether the print was in the middle of the bed. <laughs> I think it is. So now it's doing a bed leveling. Again I forgot it's not even checking there, it doesn't need to check there, so it doesn't matter. So it's doing a mesh bed. Computer. I've got me three prints. I've got me three, uh, four print surfaces. So there's the first one on glass, which we done on builders table. I hope it, it might not be in focus. I'll try my best. There's the sheep there, the black sheep. Done builders tape. Uh, get this off. It's cooled down altogether. So you're gonna need like a scraper or some some kind. You could pull the tape off. That thing stuck on there. Really, you need to get some sort underneath, and you're going to destroy that. So there's that one. Yeah, I'll go and get myself a spatula shortly. There's the one on glue, glue stick. Now it has got black in it because I couldn't be bothered to purge the the red lines. See if I can get these off of my hands. See if I can get any off of my fingers. Don't forget. So no chance. There's no chance. I, there's no way I can get. Hold on. Oh, I've done that one. There you go. So I've got that one off of just my nails. So it's taken a little bit of the glow up. So that's the option I've been using for the last two years. On the glass. But the one on the builder's tape, I've got no chance. I'm going to have to get a spatula underneath and there's that one. Yep. And then we printed uh, under this surface, which is like a, a build tag type of plasticky surface, which does have 
like a grain to it. You can feel it, but it's, there's a grain there. Really soft surface. You've got to make sure that you don't damage it by scraping it. It's basically designed so you can, I'm trying to get the angle right, so you can bend it and pop it off like that. So we printed by mistake because I pushed the wrong button. I've done some of them calibration squares. Uh, so that was a built surface. You can't say, but pretty perfect. A little bit low to the, to the, to the bed, so but it made a really good uh, finish. And there's the white one we printed in the, on the build tack, funny build tack. Come out really good. Uh, a it was a bit difficult to come off that one. I had to take it off to print on the other side because I've got that on the other side. So I printed on one side, this one. Then I popped it off and I've just finished printing that one on there. So the, this one was a bit of a pain to get off. But I'd managed to pop it off using bending it and get my nail on the end. It's not really designed for small prints like that, because if you can see, it was bending with a bill plate, so it's not going to really it's just flexing with a bill plate. You want something with a bit of substance, something decent. Like if you were printing, say, say that off, it's got a decent strength about it, so it, that would pop off. Something like that. So you have to be realistic about this. So now we printed this one off on the st uh, steel part because that's the surface I'm going to be using 99% of the time. I probably won't use that surface because it's so delicate. I've already damaged it once. The print, I, I stopped the print uh, because it was slipping. I didn't have enough. Um, where it stopped, I'm trying to feel it. Just there where my nail is. Just there's a tiny little hole where it's melted into the plastic. Hear it? Just there. So yeah, uh, I probably won't use that stuff. It looks nice, but I'll be printing on, on there. Okay, so that one's on. Let's see if it pops off. There you, oh, there you go. Can you see that? I'm trying to get the angle right back to front. It's not exactly popping off. This is on glue, but there you go, it's off. You see? I'm on the wrong side. There you go, it came off. There's the glue, as you can see the remnants of the glue. So this is the surface I'll be using, guys. <clears throat> and there's the there's the print there. Yeah, so that came off pretty easy. If I had something bigger, it would it would be perfect. You just have to take it and just bend it. Pop. One thing to note: you make sure you use all your clips because my bed's my aluminium bed. When it heats up, it warps up from the centre. So you have to make sure that this is pulling down. You haven't got like a gap in the middle. So I definitely use for them. Try different ways. Mine actually fits better that way than it does that way. That way it actually needs to be pulled down as a little, little, can you see that? A little bit of a bend. And when it gets warm, it actually gets wet. It does this. I can't say all that. I'm doing the wrong angle. But when it gets warm, it does that. Bends up. But the bed bends that way, so it's opposite to that. Okay, so would I recommend this? Yeah, I haven't had a chance to tweak it properly, but what it does is it transmits the heat from the bed so quick, it gets a better, goes up to temperature quicker. It's more stable. Uh, I just find it a lot better for the bed. So yeah, definitely recommend this. What I'll do is I'll leave the links where I got this from in the description below. It comes where well, you've got to stick the build tack onto the, I keep saying build tack, but you know what I mean, the, the, the surface. Just clean it with alcohol and then uh, peel one edge off and then just lay it back slowly. 
you'll have no problems. And what I've done is a little bit, little edge hanging over. I've just got a file. I filed, just filed the edge. It's a file, fine file to get rid of that. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that. I'm going to try it out on a bigger print. Uh, it should, I, know it's, I know it's going to work, but I'll work off these little ones. I'll have no problems working with the larger prints. Okay, guys, hope you like this video uh, for this. Uh, it's called, what's it called again now? Do bit or dot bit. Heat bed, heat sheeted bed sheet by dot bit. Never heard of them. Comes from China. It's just a piece of spring steel cut. It's laser etched. So you've got these markings on these grids, if you can see in the light. I'm trying to get the light. Can you see that? I don't know. I don't think you can see, but there's actually grid marks all the way down there. Quadrants. So there's like four, eight, eight, 16 squares, which is actually quite nice for when you're setting your mesh bed up. You can use them points for that. And obviously you've got the build tax surface on there as well. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and uh, just share this video. Any comments, leave below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.